Two Little Dogs Fighting Part 2 A Cartoon Breakdown of Tia and Chardonnay's Ideal Pack Ladder Hi, my name is Casey McKenna and Martin is my dad. I'll be narrating the video today. Meet Chardonnay. Meet Tia. Meet Belinda. Meet Dave. At the moment there is some chaos in Belinda's household. Why? Both dogs are fighting for the top leadership job on the pack ladder. This leads to dog fights. What is causing these dog fights? Tia and Chardonnay are accidentally being treated as equals at the moment, but no one is equal in the dog world. Dogs rank each other in every new situation. If there are two dogs, then they want to know who is number one dog and who is number two dog. I'll show you in future videos how dogs decide who should be the top ranking dog. So, let's be a great leader and bring peace and safety to Tia and Chardonnay's household. Let's create a calm pack ladder and arrange the household with one member on each rung. How will we decide which dog should be higher ranking? Let's take a look at the two contenders. Chardonnay is nearly five. Tia is nearly six. Chardonnay shows me she is too full of electricity at the moment. She is pushy and ambitious. She never stops pushing Tia's buttons by trying to win lots of points. From humans, especially Belinda. It will be best if Chardonnay is not number one dog. Tia quickly shows me she will make a worthy matriarch number one dog. She hands me the leadership very quickly. She gives beautiful calming signals. She can be trusted to be on the pack ladder above Tia. She will not abuse her position. So let's have a look at the whole pack ladder for this household. Who should go on which rung? Where should the dogs go? Where should the humans go? Number one in the pack. The leader and safe decision maker will be Belinda. Number two in the pack will be Dave. Number three in the pack will be Tia. And number four in the pack will be Chardonnay. So, the calm pack ladder for this household now looks like this. Number one is Belinda. She is now the leader of the pack. She is the top decision maker. Number two is Dave. He stands in for Belinda when she is absent or busy. Number three is Tia. She will make a good matriarch dog. She calms down Chardonnay. Number four is Chardonnay. She will learn to help everyone in the pack stay lovely and calm and united. But how can we make this happen? How can we rearrange Tia and Chardonnay on the pack ladder? Always treat the humans as being much more important than the dogs. Dogs watch us give out the affection all the time. Humans should get at least three times more affection than the dogs. So Belinda should give Dave three times more affection than the dogs. From now on, make it very clear to Tia and Chardonnay who is the number one dog and who is the number two dog. How? Always give Tia pats, attention and treats before Chardonnay. Always treat Tia as number one dog. This is her privilege. She has earned it. She will be able to handle the responsibilities that come with a job by being matriarch dog. Always treat Chardonnay as number two dog. She will settle down and act calmer when she knows her place. We don't want to confuse the situation by sometimes treating Chardonnay as more important than Tia. Dogs instinctively understand the ranking system of the pack. More than anything, they like calm consistency. The more clear the two dogs' pack ranking is, the less fights there will be. Most importantly, always put Tia's food down for her a few seconds before Chardonnay. In other words, always feed Tia first. Don't drag the feeding time out. Just feed Tia a few seconds before Chardonnay. To show that the humans are higher ranking than the dogs, pretend to eat their food. 
First make a disgusted face, say yuck or disgusting, and place the food or bowl casually down in front of them, and then walk away. Leave them in peace to eat. I always suggest people tether their dogs to eat. This way they can fully relax. I would also help empty out the ears of trapped electricity in both dogs. How? By holding an electricity detox week. This means we don't watch, touch, pat or talk affectionately to the dogs for seven days. This is not a punishment. It is the kindest and fastest way I have found to take electricity out of a dog. It really helps dogs settle calmly into their new positions on the pack ladder. We can take our dogs for walks during detox week, but be aloof and detached. Only give basic commands and ignore the dogs as much as possible for seven days. Every time the dog makes eye contact with you, sleepily close your eyes. Every time you are near the dogs, keep your chin slightly raised and your eyes sleepy. Because treats are so political in the dog world, I would let the new pack ladder settle into place before giving any more treats out. So no more treats for a month. This will stop unwanted adrenaline surges messing up your calm pack ladder. I would also help relax Tia by giving her freedom of the living room while Chardonnay is kept tethered to a leash for now. It's hard for Chardonnay to be rude and pushy when she has no freedom to run around and win points from humans. It also means she can't constantly annoy Tina. To keep both dogs safe, I would still keep the dogs separated when I go out. I would keep them both on leashes when I take them outside to go to the toilet. I would keep them both on leashes when I take them for walks or in the car. I would keep collars on them at all times. I would keep saying leave it in a low firm voice to keep the dogs from starting a fight. Look at this picture. See how Belinda can keep the dogs calm on the leashes? Sleepy eyes, have a slight smile, chin up, don't stare at the dogs, instead keep closing your eyes sleepily. Anchored feet and feet not pointing at the dogs, deep breathing, Keep the dogs from invading each other's kingdoms. Have a, have a calm, confident energy. On the leashes, keep your arms held out so the dogs can't reach each other's kingdoms. When Tia is loose in the living room, calmly keep reminding her to leave Chardonnay's tethered kingdom alone. Say, walk away, and with chin up, sleepy eyes, herd Tia calmly away from Chardonnay's kingdom. Firmly ask, What's your tail doing if either tail goes up? Sniff the air above their tails in annoyance. Tails up means the dogs are releasing adrenaline, and this is the stuff that causes fights. Also, do not let Tia go and look down on Chardonnay's body, as this is threatening, bullying behaviour. Say, walk away, and calmly herd her away. Also, don't let Tia stare in an eye lock at Chardonnay. This is also threatening bullying behaviour. If Tia tries to bully Chardonnay, send Tia's kingdom away from Chardonnay's kingdom. Do the leader's glare by tilting your head and glaring down at her while saying, leave it in a no-nonsense voice. If Tia won't leave Chardonnay alone, don't keep nagging. Instead, tether both dogs on leashes and give them doggy beds. This is not forever, just till the dogs settle down and stop pestering each other. So enjoy a peaceful future together, Tia and Chardonnay. Bye!